As you read scripture, we see Matthew 27 verses 3 through 7 and Acts 1 verse 18 talk about Judas's life and what he does with those 30 pieces of silver he acquires for betraying Jesus. As you read those two accounts, some people say there's a contradiction in Scripture, that there are some mistakes. But today we want to see how those two stories fit together because we know that God's Word is perfect. And so in Matthew 27 it says, Judas took the 30 pieces of silver and went to the priests and tried to return the money. He threw them down in the temple and then it says he left. But then in Acts chapter 1, it says that with the money he received from his wickedness, he went and purchased a potter's field. So which is it? Did he throw the money in the temple and leave it, or did he purchase the potter's field? Well, it's both, folks, because the, the scriptures are perfect. Starting in the Matthew 27 account, it also says that the priest did not accept the money because it was blood money. So even though Judas left it there, the priests were like, well, we can't accept this money because it's blood money. And so in reality, it was still Judas's money. Now it does say the priests went and picked up the money, and what they do with it? They went and bought or purchased the potter's field. But it was Judas's money. So in Acts 1, Luke, the author, can say that Judas acquired the potter's field with the money from the wickedness of betraying Jesus, those 30 pieces of silver. They're the same thing, just happening in different perspectives from the, math, the author Matthew in Gospel of Matthew and the author Luke. The priests physically took Judas's money, went and bought the field. Thus, Judas acquired the field, even though he wasn't physically there purchasing it. We talk about this like the, the same language today. Imagine you're at, watching a football game at your buddy's house and you want some pizza. And you'd ask your buddy, hey, can you go grab some pizza for me? And the buddy's like, yeah, sure, just give me your credit card. And so you give your card to your buddy. He takes your money to the pizza shop, buys the pizza, brings it back, gives you the pizza and your money or your card back. He can say, yeah, I went and bought the pizza at the pizza shop. But you can also say, no, I bought the money or I bought the pizza because it was my money. It's the same thing happening here in, in Matthew 27 and Acts 1. There's no contradiction. The priest took Judas's money that they did not accept because it was blood money, even though Judas left it there, went and purchased the field with Judas's money. Thus, Acts 1 can say Judas purchased the field with the wickedness, the money he received from his wickedness. Simple truth, folks. Simple truth, and we see it in light of Scripture. 